The Ag Minute on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture is brought to you by your Louisiana propane dealers. Fuel for our future. You know, in addition to the carousel, one of the things that a lot of people come here to South Dakota for is the hunting. There's lots of mule deer, uh, there's pheasant. We're going to see a little bit about that later in the program. But, you know, when folks come out here to hunt, they want to take back with them a little bit of the memory of the experience they had here in South Dakota. And you're going to tell us a little bit about a woman who has made a career out of that. You know, they call her the mean woman, and she's pretty mean at what she does. Becky Martin Moss has a passion for wildlife in the outdoors. In 2006, this mean woman used her passion to turn a longtime frustration into a successful full-time business. Inside a quiet workshop, Becky Martin Moss brings the dead back to life. Okay, I'm done with this face. An avid hunter, Becky says she grew tired of waiting for other taxidermists to finish her mounts. So she decided to take the business into her own hands. I just thought two, three, four years was such an unacceptable time lag between you know, shooting your trophy and getting him back on the wall. In 2006, she turned her frustration into the mean woman taxidermy shop. <laughs> we'll explain that later. <laughs> These days, her business is alive and well. I mean, I'm full time, seven days a week, and I still can't keep up. During hunting season, Becky mounts about 300 animals each year. Nothing is ever here longer than a year. Brush in hand, she works 12 to 15 hours a day to ensure that her art imitates real life. I try my hardest to make them look alive and real and so somebody has that memory forever. From coyotes and white-tailed deer to beavers and yes, even a skunk. They're really pretty. Becky says each mount tells a story. He is just one of my prized possessions. That's a very big skunk. However, preserving these beautiful creatures comes with a few challenges. You have just BB holes. Uh, those are easy to fix most of the time. You will see some wings like where a feather is actually shot off. You learn very quickly that none of these guys die of a heart attack. They're all brought down by some means, you know, so you just learn to fix the holes. So you may be wondering, how can a lady with such a gentle smile be known as the mean woman? We named the ranch that a long time ago, and there is a long story behind that, which I <laughs> absolutely can't put out in public. <laughs> I think her secret is safe with these guys. The mean woman is licensed to mount all types of wildlife, including large and small game mammals, fish and waterfowl, and rodents. She says the only animals she won't take are family pets. Moving on to this week's Twyla Trivia. Last time the question was, about how many pounds of oxygen will a 50-year-old tree produce during its lifetime? And the answer is C, 6,000 pounds. This week's trivia question is, according to the 2010 census, which female name was most common here in Falkton, South Dakota? Is it A, Mary, B, Margaret, or C, Martha? To enter this week's trivia contest, visit our website, twilatv.org. Submit the correct answer and we'll send one winner a wonderful prize pack from our trip here in Falkton with goodies from the Mean Woman Taxidermist and a handmade quilt from the Quilter's Corner here in Falkton. And I have to tell you, Becky Martin Moss's work is just absolutely amazing.